Hi guys, my name's Ellen and I'm gonna be your nurse today. And this is R and Aware, a hopefully weekly show where I tell you things I wish you knew when you came into the emergency department. Truth be told, I actually filmed an entirely different video that I was gonna to post today. And then I had a better idea. For this week, let me tell you what kind of information you need to be able to provide me when you come to the emergency department. I have had way too many patients come in and not be able to tell me their allergies, their medical history, what medications are on. And it's difficult. It's infuriating. Let's be honest here. It drives me crazy. When you come to the emergency department, I need you to be able to provide your medical history. Obviously, there are some circumstances where a patient is not able to talk to me when they come in. That's understandable. We'll work with that. That's its own can of worms. But if you're alert, you're oriented, you're able to talk to me, you're able to tell me why you're here today, I need you to be able to tell me your medical history. What that means, I need to know your allergies. What are you allergic to? And if you can, what's your reaction? Sometimes there's allergies, particularly I find this with penicillin, that it's like, I don't know, they told me I was allergic since I was a kid. Fine, so be it. But it's like, IV contrast makes me nauseated, or I break out in head-to-toe hives when anybody uses latex. I need to know that. You need to tell me. I can't read your mind. You need to know your allergies. You also need to know your medical history. Now this does not include the 900 times you've had a sinus infection, your 13 strep throats as a kid. This is, this is not that. This is these kind of chronic ongoing problems. Any electrical malfunction with your heart, past heart attacks, anything with your belly, do you have Crohn's or IBS? Do you have diverticulosis, history of diverticulitis? Kidney stones, anything going on with your kidneys? Do you have frequent pyelonephritis going on? I need to know this kind of stuff. And I need to know the details. So not something's wrong with my heart or they told me I have an irregular heartbeat. And that doesn't mean anything. That means a wide variety of things, actually. I need you to know your diagnoses. Now, I know a lot of them are big words. A lot of them are kind of Latin-ish, X. I don't know. They're not English. That's for damn sure. Write it down. Get a list. A lot of health systems have patient portable now or a way to see your version of the chart. Download the app or take screenshots of it. Have it on your phone so that you can give out that information. Particularly if you have something weird or something people don't always know or something that's not an easy term. You know, a bunch of things are named after a bunch of German dudes or who knows what. So if you've got Hashimoto's or you have Huntington's or you have, you know, Schrodinger's cat syndrome, I don't know. But you need to know and you need to tell me. If you have cancer, had cancer in the past, actively have cancer right now, you need to be able to tell me this information because I can't do anything if I don't know. The next thing I need is what kind of surgeries have you had? Now I tend to see that this is the biggest caveat when it comes to like belly pains. Are you missing your gallbladder? Did they take your ovaries? Did they take your appendix, your uterus, spleen? I don't know. Like, what do you got in there? What don't you got in there? Have they had to resect your bowel a bunch of times? How about your joints? Are all your joints yours? Do you have new knees? Do you have new hips? How about your brain? Do you have clips up there? How about your heart? Did they do weird bypasses or something? You need to know what kind of surgeries you've had because it can help change the way we treat you or help us get a clue as to what's going on. So this next part is for my trans community. I need you to be honest and upfront with me. I need you to tell me, were you born female? You now identify as male or vice versa or don't identify as either. That's fine too. I want to know your pronouns. Tell me right up front. Ellen, I go by Phoenix. I prefer they, them. Cool beans. Love it. I'm on it. I also need to know what kind of organs you still have because that can change how we're going to treat you or test you. Female reproductive systems have way different characteristics than male reproductive systems, and therefore they have way different things that can be going wrong. I need to know what system you have. If you have any, maybe you got rid of it. That's on you, I'm cool with that. 
but I need to know what you have. Be upfront with me, particularly when it comes to pain from like rib cage down to about mid thigh. If you have any pain in there, I need to know what's hiding in your underwear. Last, but most certainly not the least, I need to know your medications, which means you need to know your medications. I cannot do anything with. I take a med for my blood pressure and one for my cholesterol and three for my thyroid. Uh, okay, cool. I can't do anything with that information. I need you to know what you take and ideally how much you take and when you take it. And please, dear God, I beg of you, do not come in and go, I take a little white round pill. Do you know how many white round pills there are? This one's yellow and this one's blue. I don't care. You need to know your medications. That's all there is to it. Know your meds, know when you take them, why you take them, and how much of them you take. It is only gonna help you. It's gonna help me complete a chart, yay. It's gonna make sure I can provide the best, most effective and appropriate care for you. And that's the whole point of this, is taking care of you. Now, I know medication lists can very, very quickly get extremely long. Write it down, put it on your phone, something like that. You need to know what you take, when you take it, how much you take, and if you have room on your list, what you take it for, okay? Some medications can be used for a couple different things, so if you know what you take it for, that's a big help. You coming in with all of this information at the ready is gonna A, make you look like you know what you're talking about and that I can trust you. B, it's gonna help me provide the best care for you and C, prevent many complications, okay? All I'm gonna do is take really good care of you while you're with me and knowing your medical history and your medicines, allergies, it's just gonna help me do that better than trying to guess or figure it out or kind of piece things together. Take responsibility for yourself. Learn your diagnoses, learn your meds. Maybe your doc can write up something for you or print out an after visit summary at your next visit that has everything on it. Like I said, many health systems now have patient portals. You can go online and pull up a, a, basically your medical chart that has everything you've been diagnosed with in your meds and your allergies, all in one easy spot. Shoot, if you come with your phone and you're able to give a couple button pushes and show it to me, I'll take that too but you need to be accountable for yourself. It's only gonna help us on the medical side. I guess that's really all I have to say about that. As always, drink plenty of water, take your medications as prescribed, and I'll be back in a little bit to check on ya.